and now here we are in early September for another vlog at Hammerton's Performance here in Warrington. A bit cloudy today but the rain stopped and so let's see what's been going on this week. Okay we've seen this thing before which I think is a C50. 90. 90 sorry but it's got a different engine hasn't it? It's got a, uh, a, ja a Chinese it's got engine, got a sort of Chinese copy engine. Oh don't say that but oh, yeah oh, I don't right. believe it's standard. It's not standard and it's now got this weird looking exhaust pipe on it, this drain pipe, which we saw in, in a parcel before I think. So it's been on the dyno and it made a whopping 5.77. 5.77. Not bad, not bad for a little uh, moped. And have you had a go on it around the I've had a quick go up and down this state, obviously wearing a helmet and all. Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good, it's not the best one we've had in, but a, a really good solid racing one and the endurance would do about seven and a half horse. Yeah, yeah. So for this to be knocking on the door six, it's far better than what we expected. Yeah. Certainly healthy. Yeah, yeah, excellent. And oh, I see yeah. you've also got a Bimolta. <laughs> a Bimolta. A Bimolta. Well. Yeah. Do Bimolta make bicycles or is it a different well, company? I don't they know. Themselves, yeah, of yeah. Well, they've gone bust, haven't they? Yeah. Okay, and you're leaning on a bike? An uh, Aprilia Capanor. Oh, the usual okay. one in for a remap because a, um, a lot of people won't touch anything like this, so I'm quite looking forward to doing it. But isn't it kind of similar to a Aprilia other sort of uh, V twin, you know, the old uh, yeah, it's, RSV? It's similar to an 18 year old Aprilia 1000cc V twin. Oh, a new one then? Never designed to be. Uh, a new one for me, yeah. Well, it's a twin, I thought. Okay. So. That's all right, we've got a bit of modern technology, we've got some Bluetooth on there to connect with. Right. Nice wheels as well, aren't they? They're, uh, yeah, they're quite cool. Sport wheels. Are they tubeless, are they, I assume? I don't know, I've not looked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I'm have you concerned with how the engine runs, to uh, be honest. That and have you, had it on a have you had a run of it yet and see what it does? I've ride up and down to see the fault the customers described, uh, right. snatchiness, jerky low down, and uh -huh. it is all of those things. But there's right. no problem, I've been looking on the live data, looking at what the ignition mapping's like. Mm -hmm. Tremendous. The fueling won't be good either. The ignition map as well. So has it got a power commander in it already? Has it been modified? No, I'm doing this one directly to you. Okay, okay. I don't believe you can even get a power commander for these. You oh. probably could in the day a power commander 3, but yeah. discontinued, don't make them anymore. Can't get them. Alright. So I have managed to find a way to get into the ECU, which is okay. uh, quite okay, difficult okay. on these. And have you had a number off it yet, a sort of power? I've literally only scrolled on the dyno, okay, put okay. it around the estate, plugged okay. into it, got some data from it, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So and now, will you be uh, running it today? I'll be running it. Okay, well, now, yeah. oh good. We see might even uh, anyway. stick around and see what it sounds like. Uh, okay. In the meantime, I've got to go and see a recent purchase, or rather not a purchase, a, a, a sort of a quite a acquisition that Tim's had that's currently next door on the floor. He's got another bloody bike. No, 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 he can't buy it, he can't sell it. It's just a weird military thing. Oh, yeah. That yeah, thing. Right, yeah. We don't actually know what it is. I don't know what... No, I'm not sure what it is. Trying for BSA. No, I don't think it's a Triumph. No, no, it's not a BSA. Might be an area or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, could, be. could be. I'm sure somebody on this video will know. Anyway, yes. so let's go and see it. And in the meantime, you can I get ready. This. Yeah, Great stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's a puzzle. This is something Tim's acquired from his army days. And it's an ex military sort of training aid he used to train, I don't know, recruits on motorbikes, old motorbikes. It's probably Second World War. And uh, I must admit, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a Triumph. And I don't think it's a BSA because this side of it, the, the case looks a bit weird. Is it an aerial? No idea. It's obviously a, uh, a twin, rather a single, and uh, it does have a casting mark there. You see it there? It's upside down, I think it says something like, I don't know, F5286, something like that. And uh, yeah, to work out what it was, or what it is. And it's just um, acquired it to uh, use as a little e exhibit, I guess. So, God knows when this was made or uh, prepared anyway, but I suspect it was probably 50 odd years ago. So yeah, that's quite interesting. And it uh, be interesting to find out what actually this used to be.
becoming a bit lean, doesn't it? Uh, I didn't actually look at the uh, fuel mix, so it's more concerned with the carbon build up shooting yeah, at the back of the bike. Smoky, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, you just have to confirm what it was. Yeah. Looking at that now, yeah. 92 brake, 63 brake was the torque, but that line must be quite high, wasn't it? So. It is, yeah, but it's nice and level at least. Yeah, um, yeah, the no bikes, in terms of knocking the, the carbon and shite, the, uh, the bike's healthy in terms of its temperature, it's maintained yeah. everything alright, but. Yeah, yeah blow a lot of smoke at first. Firstly, I go through and get a load of data off what the fuel is doing. Every different clock position, every different engine load. Try and work out from the start why it's burned itself up, why it's uh, got so much carbon in the exhaust. Yeah. Probably he's doing a load of very short journeys, town along, yeah, around town. and riding it from cold probably. So it's very rich on cold start. I suspect he thumbs the button, he rides it gently, and then he switches it off. Because yeah. he doesn't open the throttle. I'm guessing it doesn't open the throttle, there's no chance to blow it all out. Yeah. So it's really just sat there quite loose in the exhaust. Yeah, it certainly was a bit smoky when you uh, fired it up. A bit smoky. <laughs> no, it's sort of black. It's nearly gone now. Yeah, it Bad seemed to effort. fade away after a while, didn't it? It sort of went away. Yeah, it did, yeah. It sort of blown off and burned off. Yeah. No, not enough. What year is it? Is it a 50? I did not. Yeah, it's in good nick, it? I mean, it's in immaculate condition. So it is very tight, isn't it's, it? It's uh, been well cared for. You know, the chap does strike and someone would look after it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so with that, we'll leave you to carry on with your mapping. And here we have a Mark II V Max, Yamaha V Max, which I know has had a lot of work. I'm not sure the details. Uh, it's got some risers there, some different bars. I know it's also been equipped with um, nitrous oxide injection at some point. I'm not sure what else it's had done to it, but uh, we'll try and find out. And this particular model is a special edition. It's a 60th anniversary model for Yamaha with that yellow and black speed block paintwork. Oops, little badge there on the tail section. A bit of a beast actually, and uh, it sounds pretty mean too. And as I say, we'll try and find out what else it's had done to it in a minute or two. Um, okay, team. So I know it's got different handlebars or different risers, because I remember that. Yeah, it's had it's had uh, pro taper pro taper bars on it. And yeah. And we fitted uh, lengthened throttle cable. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah Brake lines and clutch lines. Are yeah, it. yeah. So well, what he so what he's had done is he's, he's bought a different clutch spring from America, which is so called stiffer. Which to, it's going to go inside the engine, okay? Take it, yeah. So it goes in, it's a, it's a circular. Oh, it's like um, a diaphragm, like a car. Diaphragm one. clutch spring, yeah. yeah. Yeah, And so rather than me take out the old clutch spring and replace it with that one, yeah. he, he wanted it fitting with the two clutch springs in. At the same time? Yeah. Wouldn't so that make now, it really, really stiff? But it's now got two clutch springs in it. And it, does it feel like, <laughs> like in its big hands? So what, it, what, it, what happens is as soon as you let the clutch out, it, goes, it shoots off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's like on off. I put it in with the the modified clutch spring in originally, and it yes. felt all right to me. It went quite okay. well, but yeah, yeah. he insisted he wanted them both in, so I put them okay. both in. Okay. Now the point of that, of course, is that let's like, say you're going to drag race it, you need a strongest clutch so it doesn't slip. But yeah. I wouldn't have thought that um, putting two in is going to. But anyway, well, he reckons it's slipping on the road. Oh right. Right at the high end Reps. of the rev range, right. but oh. it's done nothing like that no. on the dyno. So. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so he's also had a ECU that's been um, remapped, or remapped by an American oh. guy that specializes in, in VMAXs. Okay. Uh, a K&N air filter. Yeah. But it's also had there's a partition in the airbox. Yeah. Which sort of uh, restricts airflow. So that's been that was removed. Removed. Yeah. yeah. It was riveted in with plastic studs. So okay. We've just taken the plastic. You know. But don't these make like a huge amount of power anyway, They're like close to 200 brake horsepower, aren't they? Your standard? I mean, I might be wrong about that, but I, didn't, no, I seem was, to recall it, it made. It was only doing 160 something. Well, that's still a lot, isn't it? When it originally came yeah, in, that's yeah. at the back wheel. Yeah, it's the back wheel, yeah. But it's now doing 198. At the back wheel? Back wheel. Wow. Uh, so it's chef drive, isn't it, as well? So So it's, um, it's, had its, it's had the pair valve system blocked off. So we've put, we've just fitted a power commander because the actual map that he got from America wasn't quite right. Right. Uh, so we've just fitted a power commander to uh, top and tail it. Yeah. But also the he's going to use he's going to put nitrous oxide fog 
over on it. Okay. Fog into the air box. So he wants um, the power command so that it can switch maps to a appropriate an electric, yeah. um, orientated map. Yeah. Which we've got to work out because he wants. Needs more fuel, I guess. Yeah. He wants to have it so that the power commander switches a map as he re as his throttle position yeah. sensor tells you he's at one hundred percent throttle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've just got to work that out. Electric. And is he going to use that in, in like on the track strip or something, or just a road bike? Because that seems like a pretty mental a road bike. bike. Right. Okay. Pretty mental. And I would have thought two hundred horsepower. I mean, would be enough, but obviously not. <laughs> if you add. 15% to 198, that's what the true horsepower is at the crank. Yeah, 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 because you're losing it through the, through the um, shaft drive. Yeah. I mean, I had an original VMAX which made 122 at the rear wheel and it felt mental, but then again, it didn't handle as well as that, I suppose. Yeah. But in, I mean, you cover a bump in the rain and, and the back end is spin up and you think the clutch was going, but it's not, it's the tyre slipping, you know, so well, when I've God got knows got what this one. Cold days and damp days, I yeah. should imagine. This must be scary. Yeah. This, yeah. Oh well, I guess it's going to be an exciting ride, I guess. Yeah. And did I remember, I think he wants the two natural bottle small ones sort of fitted down here. Yeah, uh, well, I've got a bracket template, mm -hmm. uh, so where that... Where this is here? I think where, it's just in, just to behind that yes. crash bobbin, he wants a little bracket in there to hold it there. And then, uh, nice well, he wants it to hold it like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And one either side? Yeah. 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 Is it doesn't last looking? No. I must say to you, I remember seeing one of these just up here a few years ago and it had aftermarket cans on it and it sounded absolutely mean as anything. Yeah. It really sounded... That was uh, a French guy, wasn't was it? it? French I think guy. That, didn't that do over 200 horsepower? I don't know, but I remember him going, it's like, Jesus, that sounds amazing, yeah. you know. It really did sound like a race bike. This just doesn't sound too bad, it's decaffed now. Oh, right, so... so but have you modified the insides no, of these? No, no, they're, they're standard. But without a decap, sorry, without the cat in it, it's still going to sound a lot more. Yeah, it sounds quite nice. Because the cat cuts out a lot of nose. And is there anything else? Well, there's one more thing I've seen that's a bit weird. It's over there in the distance, a big yellow thing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a Honda. It's a Honda. Gearos. Gearos, I think. Gearos. Sorry. Sorry. It's a Honda what? Gyro. A Honda Gyro. Gyro. And is it from Japan? It's, it's like a delivery. Japan, it's, um, it's, it's come from Italy. Oh, Italy. Guy imports them from Italy, but he uses them. That company delivers breakfasts, things like that, round uh, Liverpool. Oh, right. So they use home delivery. delivery. Okay. And what's the engine? Is it? Is, is it a two stroke? It's a 50cc two stroke. 50cc? And it's going to. They do a two stroke and a four stroke. Get on your it won't be very quick, will it? Uh, with a 50cc engine in it. But anyway, something different, complete with light on top. Pretty weird.